Part 12 of my 2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Beauty is subjective. Do I concur? Yes, I do. Is it also true for Christmas Village builders? Yes, obviously. So why am I asking you? to comment something I did with the risk of you telling me something I don't want to hear simply because I think that all the people who join this channel are Christmas Village Builders too more or less experienced more or less experienced than I am I think I will never get a comment such as book I ate it, burn it and forget forever about Christmas villages. I am building this little baby here so many times, most of the time, I'm not able to see if I'm going off road, if I'm doing something against the harmony of the project. And that's precisely where your comments come useful to help me correct my mistakes because I'm not the god of Christmas village builders I don't pretend to be perfect I will never be I'm making mistakes errors each and single uh, hour I work on the project so please don't hesitate don't fear to offend me with your comments they will uh, just help me with my project. Uh, will I accept comments such as please cut it in half or please remove a ring because it is better like that, believe me? No. Uh, I will read them, comment them, yes, but, but not doing exactly what I am told like that. But if you uh, argument your comment, if you justify your comment and as I am a reasonable person that admit his proper mistakes, my mistakes, I admit every time my mistakes. And if I can think and reason about that comment and get the light and see that yes, this comment is true, I will thank you for that and correct what I did wrong. That's the reason why you aren't seeing the audience in, under the dome right now, because I follow one of your comments. Thank you, Robin, for that. Enough talking. Let's continue with the dome, the light, and then the mysterious building. But with the light, the dome will be ended, but not the Trilling Circus Project section, because this will need also some work on it. Enough talking. I'm talking too much. Let's go work. The mysterious building, guys. It's almost a ruin. It has been sitting there for more than a month. Let's continue with some work on this little piece here. If I can still remember what I need to do right now. Yes, uh, some um, bricks on the front wall and then some pattern on the pavement there on the floor let's start with some bricks my bricks okay and then my pvc white blue Let's start, but you have seen me doing this many times. Good. Okay, 
before the initial part of the wool it's enough i will fill the gaps with some uh i don't know plaster or maybe some molding powder i don't know still need to think about it but right now let's model the pavement very irregular the pencil okay not too sharp and i will start modeling the pavement Okay, the, the floor here, the pavement, don't need to be precise because this will be covered. So, no need to be perfectly symmetrical or anything else. Just some pure stone pavement. This is a stone pavement. Now, 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 windows, yes, and I will explain later why here I have no window, so one, two, three, four, five window, plus one bigger window here. This is supposed to be a mysterious building, yes, ancient building, also, yes but i don't want some glass windows uh, here i have 2.5 by 2 okay let's say i would cut pieces of 2.5 by 2.5 centimeters no Let's say I would cut pieces of 3 by 2.5 centimeters. Of what? Of this mesh here. I need to be careful because this is very dangerous. This is very, very, you can see that I can stick there and it will cut my end in half. So very dangerous. So this is a metal fence. A metal mesh, not a fence, but a mesh, a metal mesh, not stainless steel. Uh, I think this should be some simple aluminium fan, uh, mesh, but very dangerous. Let me cut a sample to see if I can go with 2 by 2.5 by 3 millimeters. So it is 3 millimeters. Uh, centimeters sorry three centimeters by 2.5 centimeters I need a mark there Here the meshes are drying, okay, yes, and while they are drying I will make a stairs, internal stairs, to put right here guys. Here, I know that this will be covered, okay? But 
I want to give the, this an impression of reality. So even if this will be covered, I will add a stair here. Here I have an height of 6.3 centimeters. Okay, 6.3 centimeters. This is the styrofoam, the same I, I always use, and it has an height of a thickness of 9 millimeters. 9 millimeters. So, uh, is 6.3 reachable with this thickness? Yes, okay, that's one of the reasons I made such uh, words there. To, I, I calculated everything in order to get everything done with 9 millimeters stiff styrofoam. I will need 7 pieces. 7 multiplied by 0 0.9 equals 6.3 centimeters. Simple math there. Here I have 3 centimeters and here I have 3 centimeters. So I will have to make some steps having 3 centimeters of width. I'm going with uh, my, let's see if the blade is still cutting, yes, I will go, I will start with two pieces of 8 centimeters, let's say this is 16 centimeters, yes, two pieces of uh, 8 centimeters. Okay, so here I will get here, then I will go up and then I will turn. So with a step going 45 degrees and getting in the other direction. So I can go up this way or come here and go up this way. And this is uh, the stair for a little bit, for, uh, for a little moment. I will need to fix this. I will need to glue it exactly where I need it. I will need to go. Let's hope nothing is, is falling down. Okay. I will need a piece of uh, something. Let's. For example, say another piece of paper here of 2.65 centimeters. I should have, I should, let's hope it's the case, I calculated to a, yes, correct, so the stair is in here, it is going up here, but you can't see it from this window, nor this window, 
maybe like that you can see it through with an angle view go to the stairs is either there that's the reason I have the window here planned so here the window is free here the windows is free the view is free but the stairs is here and there maybe I, I haven't cut it exactly this at 6.3 with my cutting table, I have half a millimeter. Anyway, it is like it is. So this is the inside. And here I will have a door, here to a door, a little open door. Uh, I will need, oops, look. My fingers are stained with super glue, so uh, I will have a problem in the next hours. Uh, so I was saying here we have some other door, maybe a stair, an external stair, I don't know yet. And uh, the first level will end here, at this level here. I still need to proceed one more step that I will not glue because I will need to paint everything. But I will need to have something in the front here. To get it more be no beautiful, no too more good looking. Okay, beautiful is sub subjective. This is objective, so good looking at least for me. And I will have also a balcony here and a balcony in there. Very complicated. Let's wait for the meshes here to dry some more. Yes, already drying correctly. Good. And let's continue with something else concerning this. Then lately I will work on my dome, but let's continue here. I don't think it is. Uh, oh, yes, now I can remove this little piece of paper here. I don't think it's mosquitoes. Ta! Bye bye, mosquitoes. Sorry, guys. Mosquitoes, some isopropylic alcohol, and bye bye, mosquitoes. Sorry, guys. I'm very, very, very bad right now, but I ate mosquitoes. So, bye bye, mosquitoes. Bye, sorry guys, <laughs> let's continue. What I have here, let's see the camera, yes. What I have here, uh, I proceeded a little more uh, quickly and now I will explain to you. Here I have 34 centimeters in length here. This piece here is 33.8, 33.9. I want something in the front and as you may have already figured out I want some art in a certain way. So what I did, I marked here 2.65 centimeters here, then I went 3.5 centimeters, no sorry 3.05 centimeters here and then 4.6 centimeters each time with my compass having a first radius of 1.87 centimeters 1.85 and the second one of 2.42 2.4 centimeters and I went like that so the initial are at the same level then I went here having this little arc effect here. Uh, I will surely not use the entire length here. The width, yes, not, no, not this entire height because this will be height. I will use less height, but for helping me working correctly, I am working on this big piece there. Then I mark it here, like that, 
some deepness in this arc here. Okay, I could have used my uh, cutting table and the uh, jig for cutting rounded pieces, uh, rounded perimeters. This is too small. I will go with my exacto knife. When you want to use your exacto knife to cut uh, some paper, you don't need to have something soft uh, under what you are cutting because it will help you. But in this case, I will need to remove those arcs there. So I will need to get through with the tip of the exacto knife. So I will need to have something soft allowing the tip to go through it and not make a mess with everything. So I will proceed slowly, as slowly as possible. This is how to make uh, an arc, but that will not be simply an arc. It will be something more than some arcs, and I will place them in front of everything here, okay? But I still need to do some work on this, so everything is dry almost okay let's proceed i have in here a piece of a styrofoam a nine millimeter stick 34 centimeters in width two centimeters in width that will go exactly here guys like that okay and i also have some pieces of PVC pipe here, uh, eight millimeters in diameter, three centimeters in length. Then I have some square piece of styrofoam, uh, three millimeters thick, and one point five centimeters by one point five centimeters, so fifteen millimeters by fifteen millimeters thickness, three millimeters. Then I will have some uh, gaskets here, okay? Let's try to do a test. Okay, so I will make all of them, eight, I will need eight of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns, eight columns, okay, let's try this.
Oh, let's go. There, like that. And the columns should be aligned in line. The front one and the back one should be in line and they are almost in line as you can see. Then I will have a roof here, a balcony there in the middle and the roof. Let's continue. I think I will assemble these lately. Okay. Because I will need to paint everything before assembling, but let's continue. Here, on the side, I want to add something that allow me to, yes, enter the level 0 there, but also get access to level 1. So I will add an external stair here. But the problem is that the stairs need to have this exact same hole in it. Let's try to figure out how to proceed. Here I have all I need. So the stairs will be 2.5 centimeters okay, uh, large width or in width and uh, the maximum length will be this piece here, I think it is 10.9 centimeter. Yes, 10.9 centimeters. This I will use as lately. So let's try to figure out if I can go this way. Yes.
Okay, and this will be preset. Let me show you like this. And with a door or with a gate. Obviously here, as here, I will add my bricks. I don't like here like that, so I will add my bricks. Uh, okay all around and the eight yes i think we are there okay let's continue with this mysterious building and in the meantime i cut the floor of level one pavement on level one if you consider this level level zero this would be level one and it will be placed like, like this. Okay, it's just a, a three millimeters thick, so it bends a little bit, but once it will be glued, no more bending at all. Okay. Uh, I've decided to go not uh, this way uh, with uh, um, the pavement aligned with the uh, lateral wall, but this way. Okay, and then I will have lateral walls for level one. And this balcony here, because this will be a balcony, will be like that. Okay, and the balcony will be like that. Okay, maybe it is overlapping too much, but it is intended like that. I can always cut and have it precisely at the same level but this will be the floor of level one need to place some balusters here in order to avoid people to get that but this will be as this and the inside will be that i will not fill it with anything because this will be a closed building guys even if plenty of windows, this will be a closed window. I'm not doing that together, I'm not assembling anything right now because I will need something to light up inside here. Uh, I don't want a pure, oops, a pure uh, bright light inside. I want something old ancient. I'm still working on it. That's the reason why I'm not assembling anything right now. I'm just preparing each and single one of the elements. I'm gluing and assembling what I know will not cause any problems during the assembling. But right now, I'm just making parts and then assemble it uh, uh, lately, okay? This stairs here, I know that I can glue it there because it will not cause any assembling problems. Okay, so I will glue it there like that. And then I will um, cover it with my bricks here and here. So let's... Uh, uh, glue this. I will use PVC glue because for this operation it is better to use PVC glue. Let's go traditionally with some brush. And now I will leave this to dry 
out for some minutes the brush inside some water now let's continue with something I want to assemble this let's do not the front mm, I will do the level 1 left side because this is front so this is left left side and the wall will not end here but the wall will end here this with the front left wall front right wall and lateral walls for level one will be covered okay it's too ugly to see it like that so the pillars the columns will help sustain what will be on level one so the wall will be there so this is not this will be not a 14 centimeter wall but it will be a 14.7 14.75 centimeters okay so I will need a piece of styrofoam for of 14.75 centimeter in width and I think between 16 and 17 centimeters in eight. Let me bring some more styrofoam. Okay, two pieces of styrofoam, um, some some spare cutting, some waste cutting, and I will take one, I think. Yes. Okay. So let's see maybe from this score. So I was saying 14.75. Okay guys. 14.75 14, 14.5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 75. Okay. I need to be as precise as I can. So, okay. This will be 14. Eighth. <laughs> Between 16 and 17, let's say... Uh, seven, seven, 16 point, uh, 16 point five. Okay, it's in. okay. Fourteen point seventy five by sixteen point five. Good, and this. I think the glue will be placed in here with the pillars, with the column. I don't know if I can show you. Let me go this way. It will be the pillars will sustain. Oops, I knew it. Uh, the pillars will sustain the side wall like that and the pillars will be either because this is ugly to see i know but it's all planned i need to reposition that because obviously in the glue isn't already dry so let's forget and last thing if i have a stair here i will go up the stairs and then I will obviously need to have an opening, a door here. So, first thing, I will need to have a door here. Otherwise, useless to have a stairs getting in front of a wall. Ay, ay, ay. Is this correct? Yes. Yes, but first of all, uh, fourteen 
point seventy five. Yes. Yes. Divided by two equals if I'm correct uh, seven point thirty seven and five thirty eight. So seven point almost seven point four centimeters. Seven point one two three thirty eight almost there. Okay, seven point four and seven point four. This is the middle. So here uh, now. I don't want a profile, a square profile, I want uh, a profile that is similar to, uh, um, to a roof or something like that. So, let's go this way to 10.5 and 10.5 from the other side. Okay, and then let's do this. Okay, a more roof sided left side. Good, this there places is more of a building of a house. Okay, action. Yes, mysterious. Now, a door from this side here where I have the stairs. Okay, like this. This will be my entrance to level to level one from the outside. Uh, here I will have access to the level one here from the, the external stairs from inside to opening inside three opening inside because even this I can go inside then go there then from this side to go there then from the front side there and then go up these stairs so two access to the level one from outside and from inside now will it be beauty to have <laughs> Beauty. Will it be good looking to have just a simple an opening there? No. And please remember that this serious building is not a church. The only thing I will say is not the church. Why? I'm telling you that. Because right now I'm going to do something that can resemble a church, but it's not a church. It can resemble to a uh, world for the church, okay? And one there. Okay guys, so big window, no. Let me take my compass. Normally I, what I will do, like in this case, some arcs, okay? Starting I think from A point down there and then go like that having around but look a gothic arc how to do a gothic arc okay let me just open the compass getting the point from the end here to the end here okay and then I will do from this side this and from this side I will go that way and that way I don't know if you can see it correctly, but if you do that, they will intersect here in this point, and this will create a gothic arc. Window, 
This will be a big window from this side. A door, a big window, a gothic window with a gothic art. Not a church, but this is one. Will I stop here before cutting everything? Of course, I will need to cut everything. Will I stop there? No. No, guys. I will add two more windows, one here and one there, okay? With the exact same, uh, in the exact same way. So, square, then arc, then arc, and then intersection there. One here and one there. The same exact process. Let me do it. I will fast forward. All right, guys, so door, big window, and two smaller window, not symmetrical, okay? This is, I could have done the exact same window from right to left, to the right to the left. No, I want something strange, something different, not symmetrical, and Oops, a little ruin there. And this is what will be my my wall here. Like that. Let's do the opening. Let's cut this. Good. I think this is it. Okay, guys. Three pieces removed, and this will go. Like this. Here. From this side here. And I will have obviously some glasses, some PET glasses as for I did for the dome, uh, for the three ring circus. But uh, it's not perfectly horizontal, so I will need to work on this. Okay, and also some design in the wind. I don't know yet. I haven't done anything right now. So, I don't know, but maybe uh, some drawing, some, uh, I don't know, uh, on the windows, on the, on the glass. Not uh, a mosaic glass, no, I don't want a mosaic glass, uh, as this is not a church, I repeat, but uh, I don't know, uh, a freeze, something, I don't know yet, sorry guys. This has dried, yes, so some bricks and then uh, something else. Uh, so this is another step, oh, so the second other step, only the second other step toward the ending of uh, this mysterious building and I think I will stop here for this time. I just uh, and uh, because I still need, uh, if I'm correct, to do something on the dome, guys. So see you in some minutes, in some seconds for you for something else. The dome, guys. Yes, the dome is once again here, and I cleaned it a little more during the week. Uh, no more. Uh, to say the tape of visible and everything is masked, I try to clean the PET as much as I could. So, now, I need to bring light to the three ring circus, to the three rings, sorry, for uh, the night show, let's say, for the night show. I cannot use the rotating platform as it is rotating, so the wires will get stuck. 
I will need to use somehow this doom here. Uh, I can go with some LED right here in these points here. Glue them there, okay, behind the heart there, behind the under dome. But it will bring lights from this point down, from this point down, or horizontally. So, mm, not a global illumination. So, I th thought about that. I have one, two, three, four and five six web connectors those connectors here are one two three four five six way connectors and they have an angle that will bring lights in every corner if i use it if i use simply the central one here this is the central one uh, obviously, I will get just one light going 90 degrees towards whatever is down below. Not very useful too. Those in the peripheral limits, the, those are in the middle between the top and the down and the floor, no, no good at all. The ones that are almost to the top and having a good inclination like that, mm, having an inclination like that, I don't know if I can show you like that, okay? They are going like that, so this one is going toward the, that, uh, that corner, this one will go towards the other corner, etc. So, fifth corner, so the uh, platform uh, divided in five, to get proper illumination, to get lights on the attraction and on the audience, on the, uh, mm, on the rotating platform. I hope that everything will get light, so this one will get from this point to the front, this one here will get from this point here to the front, I hope and the other ones too. I don't know if I will get everything under light, under the lights illuminated, but it's the only solution. So what I did, I simply 3D printed something like that, guys. It's nothing else than uh, a square and uh, and nothing else. A uh, mm, small uh, square here on the bottom, a uh, large square there, and then I've done some sort of a cone here. You can see that you have some sort of a cone getting a narrow base towards wide base, and then a hole here. I don't know if I can show you, but here, oops, nope, like that maybe. You have a hole in here, okay? Why this hole? Because I will need to get a very thin wire like this one getting through the hole there that is at 90 degrees. Uh, sorry, I cannot get it right. like that okay so the wire the thin wire getting there and why this because i will use some white led pure white bright led sorry my hands are dirty as always pure uh, led bright led they are working, okay, pure white LED, bright, the cone, if you look towards it, it's very disturbing, okay, because it will get a cone of light like that. This is bright, okay, pure white bright colors, but I want diffused light, 
So what can I do? Oops. I will, yes, I also have uh, diffused LED with the lens, uh, very diffused, so with um, uh, opaque, an opaque lens. Those are crystal clear lens, you can see through the lenses. If I put something behind it, you can. So I will t take my little tool here that is nothing else than some sandpaper uh, attached to uh, uh, to a piece of wood uh, with um, double-sided tape and then I will sandpaper the LED in order to get it no more transparent, crystal clear, but very opaque, okay? And no more transparent. This will help diffuse the light. And then, and then this will be like that. I will pull the tin down so only the bulb the led bulb will be visible here on top and i will have this long uh, wire maybe a little longer than this and then and then i will glue on those five points here that you may i hope see one, two, three, four, and five. I will glue the lamp, this lamp, like that, okay? In here, with the uh, narrow base here glued to the base of the, um, uh, of the connectors there but this will be visible from outside so first i will need to paint everything in copper here i have my copper i will paint everything with copper also the wire the tin wire here also because then i will go like this following the skewers this is narrow than the skewer both the two wires together are narrow than the skewers and I will hide the wire behind the skewers then getting towards the floor so this will be visible if it is white pure white but if I paint them copper they will disappear not entirely but they will be less visible from the distance so this will be my way of bringing lights to the three rings uh, under the dome i will need to take out my brush paint the wires in co with copper paint the head here in copper maybe not inside otherwise it won't be glueable then sandpaper 5 led then solder them to the wire then glue the led the base of the led inside the uh, lamp there and once they are uh, dried once the super glue will be cured, I will be getting the lamp glued to the connectors, the lamps to the connectors. Then I will um, position the tin wire along the skewers um, using some uh, tape. I think I will not glue them because I risk to um, do a mess. Uh, so why I'm <laughs> painting this wire before doing everything else because I can't afford to paint the wires after having positioned them because also that in that case I will be doing a mess I will stain all the transparent um, PET all the glasses okay so um, 
very uh, long task mm -hmm. you have already seen me doing everything so this is classic for me uh, you have seen me doing this for uh, the um, Jules Verne uh, feature then also for the um, Mary Shelley uh, feature uh, and so I will not show you how to solder anything because it's a standard process and very long always the same process but I will go ahead and then show you the result Okay, so it took me two hours to complete everything in here. So I went with epoxy glue, my epoxy five minutes B component, B component glue. Uh, so it cured in five minutes. It is called the five minutes epoxy glue for that reason. For um, the lamps there to get them fixed very quickly. Then, uh, as you have seen, I went with tape all along the skewers, okay, and then with super glue in the final part here to hide the wire behind the underdome here. So, super glue from here to there, uh, um, tape here, crystal clear tape. The brand is a well known brand, I will not. Uh, Citate it, okay, and uh, um, epoxy glue for the terminal lamps. Uh, maybe I can test if they work. Let's hope they work. 
I haven't tested them since I built them. Okay. Yeah! It works! Let me do two of them together. Yeah, it works too, okay? So that's the fuse LED, the fuse lights. I hope you can see them both uh, switched on, okay? So one here and one there. I uh, have yeah, five of them, one, two, uh, three. Okay, let's go this way to let you, oops, sorry guys. Yeah, one, two, three, four, and five, okay? And I will need to connect them to a source, to an AC adapter, I think, to a three volt AC adapter. But this is the end of the work I had to do on the dome, on the dome. Yes, uh, 15 more minutes to connect everything together for testing purpose and then it's done 60 hours of work and the final recap of part 12 is starting from the mysterious building it's right now it is on top of level 2 but it's not its final position most probably it will be on level 3 there maybe in the back of level 3 or maybe on level 4 or level 5 back there on the left corner there because this is still unfinished business I will not stop on level 3 I will add two more levels and that's why I'm way behind schedules between 6 to 8 weeks behind the schedule guys still need to think on the next two levels there and what will be on those levels uh, but this is definitely going on level 3 or level 4 with something more. This is the result of around 5 hours of work with the arcs in the front there, with the meshes in, on the, in behind the windows there, and the lateral stairs there on the left side of the stairs that will, get, uh, that will allow access to level 1 from the outside and the other entrance are under the stairs for level zero. This is the main entrance of level, level zero, and then another side there on the right, another entrance there. Uh, you will get access to level one from the outside, from the stairs, and then from the inside with, oops, I get stuck, with the stairs there that will allow access to level one. And then, uh, and then, okay, yes, this is the result of the left side. Please, guys, once again, this is not a church. It may seem a church with all that window, those windows, but this will not be a church. And I will just not place simple a glass behind there. Maybe I will go with some design. I will think about it uh, Monday night, I think, okay? And this is going there, guys, okay? Up there on the left side. Then I will have more parts. I will have to uh, cut the front left side, the right left side, the balcony there that will go up here like that. So this will be the balcony, so I will need it to under the walls of the balcony then i will have another little balcony on the back there and then some access to the third le to the second level level number two uh, and <laughs> i think i will stop there because this is an intense work on this building I still need to paint right now the pillars the columns are awful to see but i will correct them with the bricks that will be added and with the painting guys yes the paintings okay 
That's all for... Oh, I think I will uh, complete the, the mysterious building in two or three parts. Mm, maybe four. I don't know yet. Let's work day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. The dome, guys. You are waiting for the dome. And the result of the dome is this. Almost the same. Almost. Okay? Almost the same as last week guys but with the led inside and you can see them switched on all five of them are, are switched on one two three four and the fifth is here the wire is a minimum visible there because the wire goes there then behind here and then down there uh, this one two okay and this one two is going I don't know if you can see, but it's going there. The, it's the fastest and easiest way to hide the wires, because anyway, your attention will be focused on what is down there and not on what is up and there. Uh, I did that. I think it's the only solution. Maybe adding some more lights. I don't know. Uh, I tested it in plain dark, in, in full darkness, and I don't think it is bad like that. Now, for what I had to redo, to rebuild, okay, the audience, guys, and now the sitting places are reduced in art, so in dimensions, I can show you what they were, they were like that so bigger than what than what they are now but we uh i use the same amount of figuring so 14 and 13 then 13. more condensed there was no pandemic at that time but now uh, i think the platform uh, is more open and i thank you I repeat, I thank you, Robin Wright, for your suggestion. You were absolutely right. I Maybe I will stop. I will stop the platform momentarily to show you the difference in size. I will stop uh, right now. Okay, guys? So, the difference. The original was this one. And the other, and now you have this configuration here. So previously the audience, the sitting places were stuck against the rings from each side. Now I have three centimeters of space and some more space in the front. So the audience was compressed and no space for access and anything else. But uh, Robin suggested could maybe could cut, cut sorry the um, the, amphitheater, the amphitheaters the sitting places in plain half like that okay this will be too um, too narrow the angle will be too narrow and not enough places for everyone there this was around 160 degrees because it's not perfectly planar, so it's not 180 degrees. Uh, now they are at 90 degrees. So I almost cut them in half concerning the uh, angles, but not the dimension. If I went this way, this wouldn't have been half, le less than half. So no 90 degrees, but between 50 and 60 degrees okay but now they are uh, at uh, 90 degrees and you have space guys you know, it's not the ideal position maybe I could have um, uh, gone a little more maybe 80 degrees instead of 90 degrees oh yes what I'm talking here is the angle between this side and the other side, okay? Maybe I, now I am at 90 degrees, maybe I could have gone at 80 degrees and have one more centimeters from each side, but allow me to go on that way 
more spaces, more distance. Now you have more distance between the audience and the rings. You have some passage there for everyone to circulate on the platform. Yes, Robin was absolutely right before everything was compressed, guys. Even uh, the three rings were compressed by the audience. And um, th th that's a, a good suggestion. That's why I'm always uh, saying thank you to you for your pre precious uh, suggestions, comments. Sorry, Robin, if I couldn't go on further, but I had to make a, a, to make a decision and not um, diminish the number of um, of people sitting uh, in the amphitheaters. Okay, guys. Hope it is better this way. Let me switch off the lights, guys, and I can show you. The effect of the LED in plain dark, like that, and like that, everything is switched off. Maybe if I'm able to find the switch, I can, I can switch on, and this will be the effect. Not intense light diffused light with shadows but you can see even in plain dark just remember that outside i will have also some other street lamps so these will not be in plain darkness but i think you can see everything even in plain dark i i know that you um you commonly not display your your Christmas village in plain darkness, but I always add uh, night uh, footage to my final videos, so this will be in plain uh, night from the up. So and everything is is there, and you can see everything. Even the attraction are visible in plain dark. Oh yes, still. Uh, no trace of my knife thrower, guys. I'm sorry. I'm desperate. Uh, to be to be honest, I haven't searched it during the last uh, few days because I was uh, working on the um, on the amphitheaters there, uh, rebuilding them, repainting them. But uh, this is what. Switch on the lights once again. Obviously, this is the ideal, the ideal setup. Sorry. Okay. And oh no, I wanted to show you something else, the real dimension. So I will stop, and I will remove the dome. It's a pity, but I will remove the dome for a moment very dangerous because I have all the wires yep I will take this one out uh, I'm doing a mess right now but right now I wanted to show you the difference um, from the original and this one so if i place it on top like that not staying there because sorry two seconds oops okay i will go this way okay so the original dimension there the original dimension there the original design there and what i did okay so from here to there you have 90 degrees right now five centimeters from each side uh, 
are now available for the space. Uh, sorry if uh, I went uh, a little messy in these final two minutes, but this is the end of part 12. When just 70 degrees make a huge difference. That's why I'm asking for your comments. That's why I'm always so annoying when I ask for your comments. But they are needed to correct my mistakes. And comments should be mandatory. <laughs> no, guys, they are not mandatory. Comment only when you want and if you want. They will be always welcome. All your comments. Okay, guys, sorry. Uh, 60 hours, maybe 62 hours, but now I can write up here the end, but with a question mark, because I still need to have some little details on the platform related to the attractions, but they can wait, because generally I do details after the gathering, after all the buildings are there and this happens oh, every time around part of 16 or 17 but forget it for this 2022 uh, series because I will not be able to do it before part of 20 or, <laughs> or around the very last day of uh, December oh, I'm, I'm joking, I don't know but I, I'm not there. This other section here related to the circus still needed to be thinked. The stairs, uh, maybe a gate, I don't know. Just some ideas. Uh, I told you some weeks ago that my intention was to end this with a very dangerous thing on top of the dome, but the structure is not that solid and I will ruin the aspect of uh, the dome, uh, but that dangerous thing will be pre present on somewhere else on the circus perimeter there. But I will add this dangerous thing. Um, the mysterious building, guys, I'm I can uh, you have just seen that it's way more easy to work on that building than on that on the dome. So I will most probably end it in three parts. Uh, the real problem here is that I want something strange uh, inside the building to get light inside the building. I haven't figured it out. That's why I'm not assembling anything right now, but I will assemble it every part in the final steps. Right now I'm proceeding part by part, then I will assemble them lately. Uh, what else? The LED are there, I'm here, so please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, but only if you really wish, see you next time. Bye.